I know your notes, X and Y intercepts. You don't need the prayer model. Our objective, write it down at the bottom left. I can graph and identify a linear equation using the X and Y intercepts. I can graph and identify a linear equation using the x and y intercept. Let's read it together. One, two, three. I can graph and identify a linear equation using x and y intercepts. So, yes, we're still, notice that now instead of being on linear functions, we are on linear equations. The reason I'm not asking you to, to uh, get a Fourier model going because I'm going to show you just the, the uh, subtle difference between functions, the linear functions, to linear equations, okay? So, you wrote your objective. Pens down, please, eyes up here. All right. Eyes up here. I gave you guys the Fourier model for linear function yesterday, right? That's when we were introduced to linear functions. I gave you guys the definition, examples, non-examples, let me move this out of the way, and critical attributes, okay? Now, please pay attention to the screen so that you can see the subtle difference between linear functions to linear equations. Everybody look up, please. Here is a linear function, and this next is a linear equation. Linear function, 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 linear equation. Think about the question. What's the difference between linear function and linear equation? Uh, yes? Oh, talk it over with your neighbor, please. So, yeah, so, so basically... For linear equations, we're going to include the x equals 4, whereas in linear functions, it was not included, and in linear equations, it is, okay? So with that said, at the top of your, of your uh, Cornell notes, write these steps down, please. Steps. Number one, write an input-output table with two ordered pairs. Write an input-output table with two ordered pairs parentheses zero, comma, blank, and the second order pair is blank, comma, zero. Step two, substitute each value into the equation and fill the table. Substitute each value into the equation and fill the table. Step three, plot your points and graph your lines. Plot your points and graph your lines. Plot your points and graph your lines. Copy those steps down, please. Once again, three basic steps. Write an input output table. So circle right and input output table. Step two, substitute each value. And fill the table. And step three, plot and graph. So three basic steps. Step one, write an input output table. Step two, substitute each value and fill the table. Step three, plot and graph. Step one, write an input output table. Step two, substitute each value and fill the table. Step three, plot and graph. Step one, write an input output table. Step two, substitute each value and fill the table. Step three, plot and graph. Step one, write an input output table. Step two, substitute each value, fill the table. Step three, plot and graph. Step one, write an input output table. Step two, substitute each value, fill the table. Step three, plot and graph. Step one, write an input output table. Step two, substitute each value, fill the table. Step three, plot and graph. 
Okay, tell your neighbor the steps, please. All right, so we have our steps, right? Now, on the left side of your Cornell notes, on the Q side, I want you to write these two vocabularies down, please. On the left side of your notes, on the Q side, write this down, please. Vocabulary, first one, Y-intercept. Y-intercept. Write it down on the Q side, Y-intercept. What is it? Where the line intercepts the Y-axis. Where the line intercepts the Y-axis. Y-intercept. Where the, where the line intercepts the y-axis. Y-intercept. Where the line intersects the y-axis. Intercept. Y-intercept. Where the line intercepts the y-axis. 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 Next term, write this down. So if the y-intercept is where the line intercepts the y-axis, what is the x-intercept? Where the line intercepts the x-axis. X-intercept, 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 where the line intercepts the x-axis. X intercept where the line intercepts the X axis. Now back to our notes. On the notes side, I want you to copy this next example, please. Example Q. Example Q. And with your ruler, I want you to sketch this graph, please. And it says find the X and Y intercept. Find the X and Y intercept. Example Q. Find the X and Y intercepts. Sketch this graph. You have your ruler. Use your ruler, please. All right, pens down, eyes up here, please. Here we go. So, according to the definition, pens down, please. According to the definition, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So, first of all, I'm going to identify my y-axis. Here it is. Here's the y. This is the axis right here going vertically. So far, so good? So the line, this red line, intercepts at this point. And I'm going to plot my point. Does everybody see it? Okay. And what is that in the y-axis? It's 1. Okay. So if I was to write an ordered pair for that point, the y value is 1. Now let's see. Let's look at the x-axis. That point lines up where? To what? To 0 of x. There it is. And this is the y-intercept. Copy that, please. Okay. Pens down. Eyes up here, please. Here goes the second part. So, if the definition says where the line intercepts, the y-axis is the y-intercept. Therefore, where the line intersects the x-axis, is known as the x-intercept. So here's my x-axis. That runs horizontally. The line intercepts right here, doesn't it? Okay, so my coordinate for that one is negative 2 of x. And does it go up or down on the y? No, it stays there, so it's 0. And that is my x-intercept. Copy that, please. All right. So, when I ask you to identify the x and y intercept, you're going to write your coordinate for your y intercept and your coordinate for your x intercept. Now, everybody look up, please, pens down. Who noticed that for the y intercept, the x value was 0 for the y intercept? For the x intercept, guess which value was 0? The y value is 0. So just something to remember, okay? So with that said, copy this next problem down, please. See if you can do this one by yourself. If you want to do it to the right of that one that you just did, that's fine. Sorry, copy this graph. Okay, there it is. Example super Q. Find the X and Y intercepts. Copy this graph, please. You have your rulers. And find me the X and Y intercepts. Write your ordered pair. So... 
Let me identify my y-intercept. Let's see, my y-axis is right here, vertical, and here's the point that it intersects my line. So therefore, my y-value there is what? 3. Okay, and we know that the x-value is what? Zero. 0. So this is my y-intercept. Okay. Let me identify my x-axis. Here it is. My line intersects at this point. This is negative 1. This is negative 2. So my x-intercept is at negative 2. And the y-value is what? 0. So therefore, this is the x-intercept. Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay. Yeah, go ahead at the end box your answers. That's fine. Okay. So. For these next ones, right underneath those two that you just did, the graphs, I don't want you to copy the graph. I just want you to write the order pairs for the x and y intercepts. All right? Here we go. This is, this is uh, no, example MQ, mega Q. Here it goes. Mega Q. Here it goes. Example mega Q, and I'm going to give you the graph. Here it goes, and I want you to find me the order pair, please. Find me the order pair for the y-intercept and the x-intercept. You don't need to copy the graph. So I heard some of you say, let's see, the y-intercept is right here. And you said, oh, not that. Sorry. Throw that away. For my y-intercept, it intercepts right here. So my order pair is 0, 4. This is my y-intercept. And my x-intercept is right here. And my order pair is negative 6, 0, x-intercept. Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay. Let me graph another line. And this one I'm going to graph using green. I want you to find me the x and y-intercepts. Just write the order pair, please. Oh, sorry. Not that one. Sorry. Okay, here it goes. Um, there it is. This is example uh, SSQ. Write that down, please. Write me the order pair. All right, I'll take a volunteer for the uh, intercepts for that one. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, yes, sir. Um, X, uh, give me the uh, y-intercept first. Let's see. What'd you get? Zero, negative six. Zero, negative six. Hands if you got that. Okay. This is the y-intercept. Okay. And what is your x-intercept? Negative eight, zero. Negative eight, zero. Hands if you got that. That is correct. X-intercept. All right. Let me give you another one. Last one. I'm going to grab this one in blue. And... I want you to give me the x and the y intercepts. Here they go. Example uh, SDQ, super duper Q. Copy that one, please. I'm sorry, uh, write your order pair. Yeah, the blue one. Okay, here we go. So. Let's see, I'm going to start with the y-intercept. Let's see, this blue line crosses right here. Everybody look up, please. It crosses right, it crosses right here. And that is in between the negative 2 and the negative 3 of y. Is that correct? Yes. So therefore, my y-intercept is 0, negative 2.5 y-intercept. Okay, let me look at my x-intercept. My x-intercept is right here, and it's in between the 3 and the 4. Therefore, 3.50 is my x-intercept. Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay, not bad. Just make sure when you get to these and you have in between just get the decimal form if you want or the fraction form. Okay, it's up to you which form you use. This I could have written three and one half, 
and negative 2 and 1 half. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So with that said, everybody got it? All right, next one, on your graph paper. Get your graph paper in front of you. You're going to need this one for the graph paper. Example number one. Exa Example number one. Copy this, please. Example one, and it says, graph the following line using the x and y intercept. 5x minus 2y equals 10. Graph the following line using the x and y intercept. 5x minus 2y equals 10. So I give you guys three basic steps for this lesson, right? And those are going to apply when you get to these. Here we go. Step one. In order to find the x and y intercept, step one, we need to write an input-output table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write an input-output table. I'm going to write it right here. x, y. Okay. And they gave us two values, one for the x and one for the y. Remember the two coordinates that they gave you? Okay. And let's find out why. You're just paying attention. You're not copying anything, right? Here it goes. Let's find out why I wrote those two there. Everybody look up, please. Who saw that for the y-intercept, the x was 0? Look at this one. 0, 0, and 0. Therefore, what do you think this is going to give us? The y-intercept. Now let me go back. Look at our x-intercepts. What became 0? The, the, the y. y. Look at this one. The y became 0. The y became 0. So therefore, in here, this is going to be my x-intercept. So all I have to do is, Substitute the value and fill my table. Check this out. Everybody look up, please. So my first x value is going to be 0. This becomes 5, open parentheses, minus 2y equals 10. So I'm going to substitute for x what number? 0. What is 5 times 0? 0. We're left with what? Minus 2y or negative 2y equals 10. To solve for y, all I need to do is divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, y is equal to negative 5. And whatever I did for this one, I need to do for this one. So I rewrite the equation here. Just paying attention, please. Here we go. 5x minus 2, open parentheses, equals 10. Why did I open parentheses for y? Because what is my value here for y? 0. So I substitute that in here. What is negative 2 times 0? 0, and we're left with 5x equals 10, and I solve. Divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals 2. That goes right here, and I plot my point. Here it goes. I'm going to plot the first one. 0, negative 5. 0, negative 5. Plot my second one. 2 of x, 0 of y. 2 of x, and it doesn't move because it's 0 of y. And I graph my line. Nice and straight. And that's it. Everybody got it? So now, check this out. One last thing. To write my ordered pair, what is my ordered pair for this one? Zero, negative five. And where is that at? Right here. And that's the y-intercept. What is my ordered pair for this one? 2, 0, and that's my x-intercept. Copy that, please. Let me rewrite this order pair a little bit higher because it's in between right there. The x. 2, 0, and 30 simple? Yeah, right? We already know how to graph using the table. Now, this time, we're only substituting 0 so that we can get our x and y intercepts. So now, check this out. There's going to be a word problem. So pay attention. Let me show you the word problem really quick. Last problem. Okay, you're going to get a word problem such as this one. Mr. Q can run a 200-meter dash in 25 seconds. The function f of x 
is equal to 200 minus 8x gives us the distance remaining to be run after x seconds. Graph this function and find the x, I mean, find the intercept. What does each intercept represent? So check this out. To write this one, they give you the equation f of x equals 200 minus 8x. In order to do what we just did, we need to change this, right? We know that f of x could be written as how? y equals 200 minus 8x. Is that correct? Do we know what to do from there? Yes. Get a table, 0 and 0, substitute those values, and get your uh, table filled and plot your points, right? So for homework, homework is found on pages 266 to 267, numbers 1 through 35 odd. Turning your homework on your way out. Enjoy your homework. See you guys in tutoring. I'll see you guys tomorrow.